hello everyone welcome back to tech cloud in today's video we are going to discuss about ipv4 packet header an ipv4 header is a header information at the beginning of an ip protocol packet an ip packet is the smallest message entity exchanged via the internet protocol across an ip network ip packet consists of header for addressing and routing and a payload for the user data also IPv4 header has some field that explain that how these fields are important for an accurate, reliable and secure data transfer. Okay, so now we will take a look at header and try to explain what everything these headers is used for. So here we have a header and we can see that it has the version field, header length, type of service, total length, identification, IP flags, fragment offset time to leave protocol header checksum source address destination address ip option and data let's walk through all these fields so at first we have version the first field tells us which ip version we are using only ipv4 uses this header so you will always find decimal value 4 here then header length this 4 bit field tells us the length of the ip header in 32 bit increments the minimum length of an ip header is 20 bytes so with 32 bit increments you would see value of 5 here the maximum value we can create with 4 bits is 15 so with the 32 bit increments that would be a header length of 60 bytes this field is also called as internet header length ihl moving on we have types of service this field is used for quality of service cures and there are 8 bits that we can use to mark the packet which we can use to give the packet a certain treatment. Then total length. This 16 bit fields indicate the entire size of IP packet includes header and data in bytes. The minimum size is 20 bytes if you have no data and the maximum size is 65 535 bytes. That's the highest value you can create with 16 bytes in total length. Then we have identification. If the packet is fragmented, then each fragmented packet will use the same 16 bit identification number to identify which IP packet they belongs to. Then we have IP flag. So in IP flag, this is three bit flag and this is used for the fragmentation. The first bit is always set to 0. The second bit is called the don't fragment DF bit flag and that indicates that this packet should not be fragmented. The third bit is called the MF more fragments. So MF bit and this set on all fragmented packet except the last one. Then we have the fragment offset. So this 13 bit field specifies the position of the fragment in the original fragmented IP packet. There we have time to leave TTL. So every time an IP packet passes through a router, the time to leave field is decremented by one second. Once it hit to zero, the router will drop the packet and send an ICMP time exceed message to the sender. The time to leave field has 8 bit and is used to prevent packet from looping around forever if you have a routing loop in the network. Then we have the protocol. This 18 bit field tells us which protocol is encapsulated in the IP packet. For example, TCP has value 6 and UDP has value 17 in the protocol. There we have header checksum. This 16 bit field is used to store a checksum of the header and the receiver can use the checksum to check if there are any error in the header. Then we have the source address. Here you will find the 32 bit source IP address. Under the destination address, here we will, it's same 32 bit and it has the destination IP address. Then we have the IP option. So this field is not in use often and it is optional and has a variable length based on the option that were used. So when you use this field, the value of the header length field will increase. An example of a possible option is source route. 
where the sender requests for a certain routing path. In that case, this IP option can be in use. Then we have the data. So this data field is actually being used for the data only. The original data lies under this field. Moving on, so here we have a real life example of IP packet in Wireshark where you can see how these fields are used. Like on the screen you can see we have version which version 4 header length 20 bytes then it has the service field then it has the total length identification flag all those zero set as don't fragment don't fragment then reserve bit don't fragment more fragment all those then fragmented offset ttl time to leave then it has the protocol tcp which is 6 then header length source and destination ip address so this is how if you have a wireshark capture from there you can identify this IPv4 header. So if you would like to know more about IP header and how it correlate with TCP header, we have already explained and uploaded the video. We will share the link or you can visit the channel page also to find that video. I hope this video is informative for you. Please do like, share, comment, share, comment your suggestion or query, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for the watching. See you in the next video.